let's look at this question in a class four students a b c d got top four ranks in three subjects maths physics and chemistry such that no two of them got the same rank in a subject and no two students got the same rank in any two subjects okay we know the following information first let me make a table where this can be represented there will be maths physics and chemistry the student who got the first rank in mathematics got the fourth rank in physics okay so first rank in mathematics and fourth rank in physics comes together the student who got second rank in chemistry got third rank in physics second rank in chemistry third rank in physics and a got the second rank in physics so a got the second rank in physics a is here okay now i don't know who comes here above a in this line we don't know who comes but this person will either get one rank or four rank here because one is already available to somebody else in mathematics this person will now be four wonderful now a in mathematics will either get two or three he cannot get two because physics already he has rank two so this will be three and the last person who is left will necessarily have rank 2 and the same person will also have rank 1 in physics okay in chemistry also somebody has to get rank 1 this guy can't have rank 1 this guy can't have rank 1 so this guy will be rank 1 now this person whoever has rank 1 in maths or rank 4 in physics will either have rank 2 or rank 3 in chemistry he cannot have rank 2 because rank 2 is already occupied by someone so this will be rank 3 and therefore this last person here will have rank 4. We don't know if B comes here, C comes here or D comes here but we know those three have to get accommodated there. Let's look at the individual questions. What rank did A get in chemistry? In chemistry A has got rank 1 therefore the answer to this question is option A. If the absolute difference between the ranks of A and C in chemistry is 3. A and C in chemistry. A has 1, so C would have to be here. So we are looking at a case where C is here. Then what is the absolute difference between the ranks in mathematics? In mathematics, A has 3, C has 2. So the absolute difference between the ranks is 1. Therefore, again, option A, 1. If A's rank in mathematics is same as B's rank in chemistry, Okay, if A's rank in mathematics is same as B's rank in chemistry. Remember, this is no longer C because this was something that was only specific for question 2. Now that information is no longer valid. If A's rank in mathematics is same as B's rank in chemistry. A's rank in mathematics is 3. B has third rank in C. So this is B for this question. Question number 3. B is here. Then what rank did B get in physics? In physics, what rank did B get? He got rank 4. Therefore, answer option D. Now, the last question. If C did not top in any subject. If C did not top in any subject. This has to be removed. which was only valid for question number 3. If C did not top in any subject. C cannot come here. C cannot come here. C will necessarily come here. And the difference of sum of ranks of B and C is 1. Sum of ranks is of C is 9, sum of ranks of this person is 8, sum of ranks of this person is 7. We have been told and sum of ranks for A is 6. Difference of sum of ranks of C and B is 1, 9 and 8. So this is B. Now there is just one person left. So this is D. For how many of the four candidates can their precise ranks be determined for all three subjects? We can get the precise ranks for all four people. Therefore, the answer to this question is option C, more than two. A fairly straightforward question. All you needed to do was record the data appropriately.